you won't typically find good news stories at the top of the newscast. While good news often lacks the urgency and importance of the hard news stories we bring you in our nightly newscast, the stories we bring you in the B Block and beyond are often the most memorable. So as we say goodbye to 2018, let's take a couple minutes to look back at some of the stories that helped make it such a great year for good news. It's all part of the job for first responders, going the extra mile to save lives. But what happens after the rescue? This September, the RCIPS Air Operations Unit sprung into action to airlift premature newborn baby Liam from Cayman Brac to Grand Cayman for medical care. Weeks later, when all was well with baby Liam, a reunion. Because we don't normally get the follow-up and, you know, you, you wonder how things are going. But we've, we've stayed in contact and I'll probably will stay in contact for some time to come. <laughs> Local dance troupe got its 15 minutes of fame this March on the coattails of Marvel's box office smash hit Black Panther. This Wakanda-inspired routine was picked up by the U.S. TV show right this minute for its viral video segment. It gave me the privilege to want to live again. Like, you know, I want about my life now. Sasha Miller's story of personal transformation after drug addiction and incarceration inspired many. She was one of several former inmates featured in K-Man 27 series of reports on second chances. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Awesome. Whoa. He's a snapper. All right, Hold baby up. snapper. Go live. Woo! This lucky baby snapper also got a second chance at life after color Zach Larrabee saved it from the jaws of an invasive lionfish. Another act of random kindness, Vicki McClanahan took the plunge into this canal to save a chicken in distress. I did a good deed even if it was for a chicken, you know. I guess the little things count. And the little things like this so-called Rasta caterpillar couldn't escape Cayman 27's cameras as the gluttonous hornworms feasted their way through Cayman's frangy panty bushes. And one story this year brought a smile to almost everyone's face and just in time for Christmas shopping. On November 1st, personal import duty allowance climbed from $350 to $500. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's not all bad news out there. If you see good news happening in 2019, we want to know about it. Send us a tip to our news hotline. That number is 527-2727. Store it in your phone. That's it for me, K-Man. I'll see you all again in 2019.